Okay, here we have the Galaxy Book Odyssey, which should be a really nice computer. I'm a little bit unsure why in the world, though, they would not include Thunderbolt. This is supposed to be the high-end version of their line, the gaming laptop. And I think at least the power supply works with USB-C. I think. Here's the power supply. That's turned. Okay. Very exciting unboxing over here. Okay. Let's see. A black USB-C cable. Okay. Nice big chunky power supply. Doesn't necessarily have the cool factor of the new MacBook Pro power supply. Although I wish they put more ports on that. Anyway, here this is. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's a polishing cloth. <laughs> hmm. Safety information. For USA customers. Okay. What kind of safety concerns could there be? I mean, electromagnetic radiation concerns? God forbid. What else could there be? Okay. Moment you've all possibly been waiting for. The Galaxy Book Odyssey. Okay, it's a little bit rough. Sorry, I know I should be using a stand for the camera and everything. I've been trying to find Galaxy Book Odyssey reviews. Maybe there was one review where somebody actually had it in person, and then I wasn't sure if it was even the right model. But people don't seem to be talking about it that much. People, Some people did seem to be excited about it at the time when it was announced. It was obviously a while for it to finally really come through here. I think they're trying to do that cool thing that Apple does, or maybe... Who knows? Maybe Apple's copying them. It does it. Maybe it's industry industry standard. Having this little paper over there. Anyway, here we are. Core i7 GeForce RTX. Now with it's either 11th or 12th gen Core i7, I think. Let's see if it even turns on or if there's no juice in it. Okay, it seems like it doesn't want to turn on. Well, I have to plug it in. Maybe the power button is not what I tried to press. What I tried to press might have only been the fingerprint sensor. Oh, it's nice seeing, seeing some USB-A ports. That is a welcome thing. Here we are. Nice old clunky, I mean it's new, but old style. Clunky charger. One moment. Okay. I think. I might not even do like an edited version of this. I don't know if I feel like doing that. I'm not like a big YouTuber. I mean, watching it, but not as a YouTuber. I don't feel like putting in all that effort with this video. But I've been noticing a lack of Galaxy Book Odyssey reviews. Maybe one person that actually had it physically in hand. Maybe, if I remember correctly. From a couple weeks back. But in general, not a lot of these, so let's see. Maybe that is a power button. Hmm. It's plugged in now. Looks like power's on. Okay, something's happening. Here we are. It does not look, actually look blue, but I'm shooting this from a flip three, so the color is probably not amazing. 
I don't know if the side I plugged it in is meant to be the side for charging it. I mean, it seems like probably either side would work. I don't know if there's a preference, if one charges faster. What I cannot understand for the life of me, though, is why they might not have included, I think I might have already mentioned this on the video, but a Thunderbolt port. It doesn't make any sense to me why these USB-C ports would not be Thunderbolt. I just cannot understand why they would do that. It's supposed to be high-end. I think it gives a higher version of Bluetooth than, oh yeah, there's no touch screen. That's annoying. No touch screen. So anyway, I think the Bluetooth is 5.1, which is, I believe, newer than the Mac, than the MacBook Pro. Even the Max version, it's only five. I'm gonna add a layout over here. It would be really nice if this was touch screen. Anyway. Got to connect to the Wi-Fi. Hmm. Let me see if I remember that Wi-Fi password correctly. Looks like it worked. Although this other one might be better. So, I would love to hear if any of you are considering the Galaxy Book Odyssey, what your thoughts are. If any of you are audiophiles, interested in audio like me, or anything in between, what you think about them not including Thunderbolt. Because I am very concerned, I'm considering getting a new audio interface, trying to get a good setup, and I would like it to be able to work between Mac and PC, and Thunderbolt is very popular now, so trying to figure out I, I still can't understand why they wouldn't include it the Galaxy Book Pro 360 and Galaxy Book Pro both have Thunderbolt 4 I believe and this is Thunderbolt 0 no Thunderbolt I can't understand it so I'm checking it out I'm likely going to sell it I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll keep it or what it seems like it should be a great laptop though in terms of speed 32 gigabyte RAM you know, and one terabyte storage is pretty good. It would have been nice if they offered upgradability with that, but it's user upgradable. So I can add a stick of one terabyte storage, for instance, and make the whole thing two terabytes, I believe. It's upgradable, expandable, or whatever, up to two terabytes. Okay, I'm getting the screen going. Let's see, here I am. Here I am again on my own Trying to start up the Galaxy Book Odyssey All right Not as big a trackpad as on the MacBook Pro Core i7 is almost seeming outdated even though this is new it's the newest version of it or I think one of the newest I think it's the H version also yeah I see it says Intel Core i7 H well Core i7 11600H okay all this stuff so what do y'all think of the Galaxy Book Odyssey I'd love to hear Do, 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 do. Trying to start this up. Oh, they want to add a Microsoft account. I know. This is when everyone skips things in the video because that's what a professionally edited video is supposed to look like on YouTube. But I don't know if I feel like dealing with all that. I might post it as is. We will see. 
Okay, I have to give a verification. I gotta give a verification. Exaltation of verification. All right. That's a little Matsuyama number from way back in the day. In the dizzy old day. Oh my lord, shnikes. Gotta get this thing. Uh oh. Okay. Gotta get the verification. Where is that verification? From Microsoft. Huh, I thought I sent it. Maybe there was one more step. Oh, they want me to tell them what the whole email address is of where they're going to send it. Then they will do me the honor of sending it to me. Here we go. Then it's almost inst instantaneous. Alrighty. So. Want to use fingerprint to sign in. Yes, set up. Now they want to try another angle. Okay. Whoop, I clicked skip for now. I didn't mean to. Oh, man. Okay, I want to try this again. That's it. I'm all set. All right. In progress. Gotta do the pin situation. They really should have made this touch screen. Unbelievable. Mac, Apple should also be making the computer's touch screen. That is my opinion. All right. Let's see. Not sure why it's taking so long with the pin. But alrighty then. Just waiting a little bit. Here, I have to choose if I want them to have all my info. Hmm, I have to see. Hmm. Okay, I decided one of these things. I don't know why I allowed inking into that one either. Probably could change that later if I want. A little bit. Windows 11 setup. What do y'all think about how this computer looks? It's not unsleek, but it's no Apple MacBook Pro. The hinge seems good. Some people like to press down hard on this and see how it flexes or not. I don't know if I really want to do that much, if at all. I think it seems okay. But I, I didn't do it intensely. see. Oh, it's a little bit of a weight. Sorry about that. It's a little bit, you know, I wouldn't say heavy, but not completely light. So, there's that. Still waiting for this. Oh, wait, actually it's done. Back of the files with OneDrive.
That almost looks tilted. I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe it's not. Alrighty. Just getting going. Maybe I should have edited this video. I don't know. I'll have to see. So. Here we are. It's still setting up. taking this long it is here we go here we go now here we go now hi all right you get the idea Unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Book Odyssey, 32 gigabytes, one terabyte SSD, and for some reason they don't include Thunderbolts. 